and in this question they are saying let us assume that you construct ordered tree to represent the compound proposition which is represented by this and then the prefix expression the postfix expression determined using this order tree are given as and dash and dash respectively so they are giving us this expression and we have first of all we have to create an ordered tree for this expression so how will you create an ordered tree so you can see here because of these brackets it is having higher precedence because of these brackets it is having higher precedence so you can draw it like this this is uh, double implication then on the left of this double implication we are having this expression and in this complete expression the highest precedence uh, is of this and so we are going to have negation and with this negation uh, on the left of this negation on uh, if so we'll be having and here and on the left of this and we are going to have p and on the right of this and we are going to have q this negation was a unary operation and this and is a binary operation in the same way you can uh, check on the right hand side we are having the highest precedence operator is negation and the lowest precedence operation is or so we are going to have or here on the left of this or we will be having a negation on the right will be having negation and then we will be having this kind of tree so this is the tree which is representing the above expression now they are asking for this uh, given tree you have to give a prefix expression as well as a postfix expression so what is a prefix expression what is a prefix expression and a postfix expression in a given tree if you want to find a prefix then prefix means we are going to visit the root that means we are going to print the root then we are going to print the left subtree and then we are going to print the right subtree and when i'm saying postfix expression that means first of all we will visit the left subtree then we will visit the right subtree and in the end we are going to visit the root okay now for this given example if you try to find the prefix expression that means uh, we will be printing root and then left and the right so if you don't understand why uh, how i am finding this prefix and postfix expression you can go to the video lectures related to data structures and where i've given how to traverse a tree a binary tree where i have covered uh, prefix postfix and infix expressions so you can go through that topic and you can again come back here if you do not understand this prefix and postfix expression why i have taken root left and right so here you can see uh, in prefix we have done root then left and the right so initially we are going to print this root that is double in implication then we are going to visit the left subtree so in the left subtree we are going to print this negation and then we are going to visit uh again the left subtree this only one sub left subtree here so we are going to print this um and and then again we'll visit this so we are going to print p then we are going to print q and then again we'll come come back to the right subtree so here we are going to print the root that is or then on the left we are going to print negation then p then negation and then q so this is representing the entire uh, prefix ex expression for this given question now let us see what is a postfix expression for this question postfix expression postfix expression means first of all we are going to visit the left subtree then we will visit the right subtree and then we will visit the root so if you are at here then we visit the left subtree so you will come here visit the left subtree you will come here visit the left subtree you will come here but there is no left subtree here there is no right subtree here so we are going to print p so p will come here then we will print q then we will print this and then again we'll go back then we will uh, uh, again go to the right subtree of this so we'll come here again visit the left subtree we'll come here again visit the left subtree we'll come here so we are going to print p then uh, we'll print negation uh, then we'll print q then we'll print negation then this or operation and then in the last we are going to print okay so maybe i've done some mistake here so after this p this p we are going to visit uh, the right subtree here we are going to visit the, yes yes we are going to visit the right subtree here so it is q and then we are going to visit the negation and then we are going to visit or and then the last we are going to visit this uh, this one okay so you can see uh, we have this this is the prefix expression this is the postfix expression let us see uh, which option is matching with this one so here option number a is uh, the uh, prefix is matching prefix is matching here yes no prefix is not matching in the option number a therefore this is wrong if you take option number two so you can see here this is matching this complete is matching this is also matching yes the prefix is matching uh, is the postfix matching 
P, Q and negation of P, negation of Q, negation of R and then yes it is matching so option number two is the correct answer now let us see if any, any, any other option matches uh, so here you can see this is not matching option number three is not matching so it is also wrong and you can see in option number four this is not matching so option number four is also wrong so the only answer is option number two and which is correct now let us check uh, the question number three from this UGCNet 2017 computer science examination